Welcome everyone. It's Miss V from Communities in Schools of Chicago and I'm excited to bring you the STEM challenge today. So your STEM challenge today is what objects make the best insulators. So let's talk about what an insulator is and then you'll see what materials you're going to need for today. So an insulator basically helps to stop the transfer of energy from an object to the environment. So in other words, it keeps a cold object cold and a warm object warm. So you can think of it like it keeps ice as ice, right? It slows ice from melting, or it keeps like a hot beverage, like hot chocolate, warm instead of letting it cool off. So that's our challenge today is to see what materials create the best insulators. So as you saw, um, the materials that you're going to need are three containers of the same size. Now I chose three glasses because that was the easiest thing for me to find, but you can choose any three containers that you have of the same size. You're going to need a pair of scissors likely, some tape, and definitely some ice, and then you're going to need just some random materials. So I have suggested a newspaper or bubble wrap or foil. If you don't have those things, you can choose other things such as fabric, regular paper, um, saran wrap, whatever you do have, okay, choose something from that. And you want to choose two of those items. So I'm going to choose foil and bubble wrap for mine, okay? So make sure you have your materials on hand. And then next we're gonna do the setup. Okay, let's set up for our experiment. So every experiment you wanna have one control, right? One where you do nothing to, so that you can just see how it normally would act. So we're gonna leave one of the containers alone and not add anything, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an ice cube into that container and it's just gonna sit. The next one, and I wanna add ice cubes I'm actually gonna cover the top, okay? I'm gonna add an ice cube into my other two containers as well. But I'm gonna cover my middle container with my foil and I'm gonna cover this container with my bubble wrap. So this is where you might have to cut it, your stuff down to size, okay? So I've already made sure that these are the correct size. Let me move my control out of the way just so that you can see. Okay, so with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to wrap it in my aluminum foil. So it is wrapped all the way around. Now, if you want to tape it down, you can. That's what the tape is for, okay? Um, with aluminum foil, you don't need that as much. And then I'm going to fold it so that it's also covering the top, okay? So at the end, right, my top is covered and my sides are covered. So that's the first trial. Now with this glass, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bubble wrap. For the bubble wrap, I'm definitely going to need some tape. So let me grab that. So I'm going to wrap the bubble wrap again around the sides of the glass and over the top of the glass, okay? And then we will test out everything. So let's see, let me get a couple pieces of good tape here. All right, so we're going to wrap it around. And I'm gonna tape this bubble wrap down here. And then I'm gonna fold the bubble wrap over the top too. Just so it's similar, right, um, to the foil where we folded it over the top. Okay. So now, you should have all three containers set up. Your control with material one and material number two. Now you're gonna let it sit 
for five minutes. So go ahead and set your timer for five minutes and we'll check back on them then. All right, so it's been five minutes. Let's check out what our results are. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna unwrap the two that I have wrapped so that we can then compare all three, okay, to see in which one has either, you could do it a couple ways, which has the largest ice cube left or which has <clears throat> the least amount of water in it. So I'm gonna, I have my control still. I'm gonna unwrap my bubble wrap one. Now I'm gonna leave the bubble wrap underneath it just so I remember that's the one that I had the bubble wrap around. Okay. And then I'm gonna unwrap my foil. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the foil underneath so I remember I had the foil around that one. Okay, so now we're gonna check out which one was the best insulator. Remember, an insulator keeps the object the temperature that it wants to be, so it would have kept this ice cold right because they want to keep that energy inside of that ice cube so if we look this is our control okay so our water level is about right here okay if we look at the control versus you bring these in closer make sure they're the same level the control looks like it has a little bit more water to me than the bubble wrap one. Now I want to compare my control to my foil and make sure they're the same level for you. The foil definitely has less water than my control. Definitely. And now let's compare the bubble wrap and the foil, bubble wrap foil. And I would say the foil definitely has less water than the bubble wrap one. Now, I did this just by looking. You could measure it with a ruler. You could pour it out into a measuring glass as well if you wanted to get very specific. That would be fine. Okay, so out of these three, let me pull, let me pull them all back in so you can see. Out of these three, right, which was our best insulator? It was the foil, right? The foil kept the ice cube cold, okay? So it didn't let that energy, okay, release to melt that ice cube. So our foil was our best insulator in this experiment. And I'm curious what you found in your experiment if you used different materials. I hope you enjoyed the experiment today and I look forward to the next one that I bring you.